Have you ever had a dream that you were getting your hair cut? Did you find yourself sitting at the barber shop in the chair getting your hair cut or maybe at the beauty salon getting your hair cut? Or did you see a family member or a friend uh, or somebody you know and they were getting their hair cut, maybe at home or wherever it was, but they were getting their hair cut? If so, that's a big red flag and something then that you need to uh, pay attention to and uh, talk to God about. It means then that the enemy has it out for you and he's going to do everything that he can to undermine you and take away the uh, mantle and covering, the strength, the authority, the uh, power that God has for you, the anointing God has on you. He wants to take that away from you. You must remember that we as uh, Christians, we are made in the very image of God. We are his children, you know, the sheep of his pastor. So it says in the book of Psalms, but the enemy hates us. He loathes us and he does not want us to prosper. He does not want us to succeed. So he's going to look for ways to take away the blessings that God has given us, take away your anointing, your authority, your covering. And so you may find if you haven't dealt with dreams like this, that you may not be prospering in your physical life. Uh, some, a lot of us, you know, I just learned this, you know, not too long ago that life is spiritual and that, uh, if you don't deal with things, the dreams that you have, if you don't deal with them and, you know, present it before God and talk to him about it and say, hey, Lord, this is what's happening and what's going on. It means then that the enemy has full rights and authority to uh, attack you in whatever way he wants to. He's there taking these things away. You may wonder why your life is not going the way it should. It's because you are under attack, it's a spiritual attack. And so then if you've had a dream like this, then it means that you need to talk to God about it and say, hey, Lord, help me, please. And so I would encourage you then, even right now, what you can do is say, hey, Lord, I cancel this dream in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel all demonic dreams, any type of haircutting dreams, any type of demonic covenants or demonic curses that I may have come into agreement with unknowingly. Lord, I come out of agreement with this in the name of Jesus. Present that to him and talk to the Lord. And I, I guarantee you, you know, the Lord will hear and answer your prayer and uh, he will give you direction. Ask the Lord for direction of what you ought to do next. But this is my encouragement to you. If you've had any type of hair cutting dream, please, please, please make sure you present it and talk to God. It means the enemy is out to get you. He does not want you to succeed, but know that with God, all things are possible. God wants you to succeed. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to thrive and soar in this life. And he's blessed you with gifts and all sorts and kinds of things to help you along your journey. But in order to hold on to those things and not have it stripped from you, you've got to pray. You've got to pray and talk to the Lord. All right, you guys, uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Ciao.